Do you feel clueless using Google Sheets on your mobile device? Come with us for 20 plus simple, powerful, everyday Google Sheets hacks that will take you from hating using your phone to updating Sheets on the go faster, smarter, and more confidently every day. Let's get started. To zoom in on Google Sheets Mobile, use two fingers, and with those fingers close to each other on the screen, spread them apart. To zoom out in Google Sheets iPhone, use two fingers, and with those fingers on the screen, wide apart, pinch them together. To add borders to cells in Google Sheets Mobile, select the cell you would like to border and tap the underlined A at the top of the screen. Tap Cell, tap Borders, add a border using the pictures available. To change the border thickness or style, tap Border Style and select your style. To apply wrapped text in Google Sheets, type in the text you want, tap the cell, tap the underlined A at the top of the screen, tap cell, turn on wrap text. To change the font size in Google Sheets, tap the cell or cells you want to change, tap the underlined A at the top of the screen, tap text, tap the font size up or down arrows, tap a cell on the grid. To apply percentage formatting in Google Sheets Mobile, tap the cell or range, tap the underline A, tap cell, tap number format, tap percent. To rotate text in Google Sheets Mobile, type your text, tap the underline A, tap text, tap text rotation, select your choice of text orientation. To highlight a cell in Google Sheets, tap on the cell, tap the paint can button, Tap on a color and select a shade. Tap the worksheet to exit. To undo in Google Sheets Mobile, type in cells like this. Then, to undo, tap the curved arrow above. To redo, tap the curved forward arrow above. To add a comment to a cell in Google Sheets, tap a cell, tap again, tap comment, and add your notes below, then tap the arrow on the right. To view the comment, tap the cell, tap view comment. To add a row in Google Sheets Mobile, highlight a row, tap the row, use the right arrow, tap the insert one row above, tap the insert one row below. To insert a column in Google Sheets Mobile, highlight a column, tap the column, use the right arrow, tap the insert one column left, tap the insert one column right. To freeze columns in Google Sheets, tap the column number, then tap again to bring up the menu, tap the right arrow, tap freeze columns. To unfreeze columns in Google Sheets, tap the column, tap the column again, tap the right arrow, tap unfreeze columns. To freeze rows in Google Sheets, tap on the row number, then tap again to bring up the menu, tap the right arrow, tap freeze rows. To unfreeze rows in Google Sheets, tap the row number, tap the row number again, tap the right arrow, Tap Unfreeze Rows. To hide a row in Google Sheets Mobile, tap the row number, use the right arrow, tap Hide Row. To unhide a row, tap the row above or below, use the right arrow, tap Unhide Row. Or, tap the two arrows on either side of the hidden row. How do I hide multiple rows in Google Sheets Mobile? To hide rows, tap a row number, use the blue circle to add other rows, tap the selection, use the right arrow, tap hide three rows. To unhide rows, tap the row number above or below, tap the selection, use the right arrow, tap unhide rows, or tap the two arrows on either side of the hidden rows. To hide a column in Google Sheets Mobile, tap the column number, use the right arrow, tap hide column. To unhide a column, tap the column to the right or left, use the right arrow, tap unhide column, or Tap the two arrows on either side of the hidden column. How do I hide multiple columns in Google Sheets Mobile? To hide columns, tap a column number. Use the blue circle to add other columns. Tap the selection. Use the right arrow. Tap hide three columns. To unhide columns, tap the column number right or left. Tap the selection. Use the right arrow. Tap unhide columns. Or tap the two arrows on either side of the hidden columns. If you want to sum a column of numbers, tap the cell where you want the total. 
tap the pencil, type equals sum, open parentheses, the range of cells to add, in this case, A3 colon A7, close parentheses, tap the green check mark. So tap on the cell for the formula, then tap on the pencil to edit the cell, tap on equals, then type in the formula, SUM, open parentheses, the range, A5 colon A7, close parentheses, then tap the green check mark to sum the column. Or after tapping the pencil, you can tap the F of X button, search for your function, tap the function, then finish the formula A5 colon A7, and tap the green check mark to average the range of cells. If you want to add numbers in Google Sheets Mobile, open the app, fill in the numbers you want to add, tap on the F of X button, scroll down to math, then sum, Here you will see equals sum, open close parentheses. Tap on the first number of cell you want to add. Then with your finger, tap and slide the circle on the lower right down the column to the last number in your range and then tap the green check mark. To create a filter in Google Sheets, fill in your data, highlight the data, tap the ellipse or three dots in the upper right, tap create a filter. To use the filter in Google Sheets, tap the funnel on the column header Tap Filter by Condition. Adding a filter helps users analyze specific data and sets. To set filtering conditions, tap Text Contains. Type in value or formula. Tap Done. To use the filter in Google Sheets, tap the funnel on the column header. Deselect the values you don't want. Tap a cell to return to the worksheet. To remove the filter, tap the funnel. Select all the values again. Tap a cell to return to the worksheet. To rename a sheet, tap the arrow next to the sheet name at the bottom left corner of the screen and tap Rename option from the menu. Type in the new name, tap OK. To duplicate a sheet in Google Sheets, tap the Sheet tab and tap Duplicate, then change the name, then tap OK to finish. To learn more Google Sheets tips for your mobile app, watch this video next.